Jon, first things first, after the weekend, how is Ryan Hedges' condition? Uh, not good, not good. Uh, it's of course disappointing. He'll be out for, for months, probably three months, maybe four. Mm. Depending on the... He'll go, probably go to visit another doctor as well, get a second opinion. Um, really disappointed for Ryan, of course, but also for the team. He's one of the more experienced players to together with Sam Gallen in already a young side. So, uh, disappointed. We can't change it. Um, and of course, we still have Sam Gallagher out, who's also one of the more senior players in the squad. Uh, Niall Innes is still out. Sam Barnes is, uh, is still out. Um, but the rest of it should be more or less ready to go. Uh, a game which, which we had a, yeah, last season, we had a great joy in the, in the cup. So, so we want to win each game. There's also, of course, we also need to rotate. Uh, some players uh, need rest. Uh, some players need a chance and some players need minutes, uh, exactly what we did last season as well. But we always would like to have a great result and, 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 a, and a magical evening. Mm. How big a blow is it to lose Ryan? Because it feels at the moment that you get one player back in Arna and then you lose another winger in, in Ryan. It, it just feels like you can't get everyone back at, at once in a way. No, it's, it's of course always disappointing, especially when we, we are not extremely experienced. Uh, Ryan is our oldest player with 20 years of age. Uh, and with Sam Gallagher, also one of the senior players, of course, disappointed. But we can't change that. Huh? Uh, so, so, so the young guns will, they will get more opportunities now. Will Arna potentially get another opportunity tomorrow night? Um, if he's feeling well, uh, of course, he's been injured for, for a long time. He needs minutes, first of all. He needs minutes because he's, of course, not up to speed when he's been out for more or less yeah, two, two and a half, three months. We will, we will have a good uh, communication with Arna uh, and, and, and manage, try to manage that well. Uh, of course, more e it is more difficult to manage if you have less players in that way, uh, but let's wait and see. Yeah, I suppose it's a case with Arna of not giving him too much too soon. You just want to get him back up to speed to, to where his normal levels will be. Yeah, and it's normal when you've been out for a while uh, that you will not hit the best form immediately. But we know he's a quality player. It was a great goal. I think that's good for his confidence. He scored a great goal the other day. Uh, but let's wait and see. But for sure, we need to rest players. Uh, but we also need to give players opportunities. Uh, for example, Leopold Wallstedt will start in the goal. Uh, something is which were planned. He's still getting used to to the intensity of the of of everything. Uh, even a goalkeeper needs to get used to that and also get used to to our way of playing. So so that was planned. So that's a good opportunity for him to 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 play. We have uh, Trunstad, uh, also one of the new players who are needs who's needed of game time, but also need to get used to a new league with a high intensity. So that's that's great opportunity for those boys. Uh, like we did last season, uh, where we had a really good cup run, we, we used also some young players. And so there was a mix of everything, getting players up to speed and using the whole squad. And, and still, of course, we want results in the end of the day. Yeah, and those young lads really took the opportunity, didn't they, in the last round at, at Harrogate, really sort of came to the party and showed you what they can do. Yeah, it was a great game and, and, and a brilliant game. We did all the right things. Uh, and, uh, and of course, even against a, 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 on paper a better opponent, it's always about doing the right things. If you do the right things, you always play a good game, no matter who's, who you're playing against. And what about Cardiff? They're, they're in a really good run of form at the moment. I think five wins out of their last six games, three wins on the bounce. They're going to be really tough not to crack, aren't they, for your team? Yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, they, they've been really good. Uh, they've won, won a lot of games, uh, getting used to winning games. Uh, they're quite solid. We know they're, they're defending really well. Uh, they want to play on transition. Uh, so it's, it's something we need to, to, to be aware about, where we need to stand well uh, in those situations. Uh, and, and they got a big win against Sunderland the other day. It was probably more or less the, s the same game that, that we played against Sunderland, where we should have been out of sight. Uh, Sunderland should also be out of sight in that game. And then they scored a goal in the end, just two minutes from time. And then they had a couple of chances afterwards. But a good challenge and, and an exciting moment to, 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 play, to play the cup again. Mm. Do you see a different sort of Cardiff under their new manager, Errol Bullock? Now, they, of course, they have got a, a lot of points already, and I think they look very solid uh, in, in, a, in a way. Um, they got a lot of new players as well. 
Um, so I think they have done a great job so far. Mm. And do you think this will be almost a perfect test for a rotated squad, just to see how they get on against a fairly experienced championship side? Yeah, we, we know we are young and, and we will learn from that. We will develop over time. So it's a good opportunity, as I said, for players to get an opportunity, first of all, but also, also to get up to speed. And we also need to rest some of the players because uh, our squad is not the biggest in that way. Mm. And it has been a pretty hectic schedule as well. So it is a case of just trying to rest as many players as you can, but also keep that competitive level, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. We always want a good result. We always have the mindset, no matter who's playing, we had the same mindset last season. Uh, so, of course, now it's about to challenge each other and do all the right things uh, where the opportunities are. Uh, and there's a good moment uh, to, to, to catch the eye as well uh, for, for, for the staff. Um, and it's about when you get the chance, you, of course, need to perform for Rovers.